morn <clears throat> good morning I'm so excited for the Shadow and Bone Netflix series So today, obviously, it's another school day. I mean, every single day is gonna be a school day up until May, unless you exclude the weekend, but. Anyway, today I just have one class, which is pretty nice. I like just having one class a day. It feels a lot more manageable. It's kind of like an art history class, not kind of like an art history class. It, it is an art history class. It's like, it's the last general education requirement sort of thing that I need. Actually, that's not true. I still have to take a language, <laughs> but it's one of the last ones, and I'm super excited for this class. It's basically just like art history from like the Renaissance to the modern era. So I think that should be interesting. Very light academia, dark academia aesthetic, which yes, yes. If, you, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I really like that aesthetic. So here's my to-do list. Just some YouTube stuff. I want to film some TikToks and then I have a bunch of like reading and sort of things that I need to do and then exercise class and get ready. But this class is the only class that I haven't had yet. The other three synchronous classes I've already had and I really liked all of them and then I'm taking two asynchronous classes, which for me I think is a good balance because sometimes just like the online learning sort of thing on Zoom just it gets tiring. Oh, uh, what was I gonna say? <laughs> So my class today starts at around noon and it's about 9.45 right now. I'm posting my video at 10 o'clock, so that'll go live. But before that, I think I'm gonna work on some of my advertising and marketing reading, which is one of the asynchronous classes that I'm taking. I saw this TikTok where this guy got his like jaw stuck from yawning. <laughs> now I'm like paranoid about yawning because I don't wanna lock my jaw. Another irrational fear to add to the list, that's fun. <laughs> I'm really liking Microsoft OneNote so far. It syncs really nicely from my iPad to my computer and it's just easy to manage. It's almost like a toned down version of Word. I'm really liking it so far. I really do like advertising and marketing just as a topic. I was considering, like back in high school, I was considering either majoring in communications, but then I decided on business and now I'm in fashion business. But obviously marketing and advertising and promotion, that all is very relevant to just business as a whole. So I just find this stuff super interesting. I like that it kind of combines creativity with like not math, but like kind of math, sort of like algorithms and strategies and statistics. So I just took a quick break and posted this video. Go watch it if you have not. But anyway, while I've been taking notes, I've been using my new Magic Keyboard, which is just so incredible. I don't know, why am I so fascinated by a keyboard? It's just is really cool because my keyboard, like the regular keyboard that's on my laptop, this keyboard, it, it like obviously it still works but the keys stick so badly like whenever I type out a sentence probably there are about 10 spelling errors just in one sentence because like the R key will type like four R's at a time and so will the S and so will the I it just kind of not working very well then my touch bar is also broken so i just decided to get the magic keyboard which is basically just a bluetooth keyboard and you can connect it to the mac and the ipad i don't know if you can connect it to the phone but i'm not going to be taking notes on my phone but here is my unboxing of this i unboxed it last night because it came yesterday and i wanted to use it immediately for my notes okay so this is what it looks like it's super pretty obviously all the apple products packaging is so pretty I ordered the one that comes with like the number keypad on the side because I I just really like the number keypad. I always end up saving like Apple boxes because I reuse them all the time for storage because they're nice and sturdy. I guess it just slides out like this. Ooh, nice. That's so like aesthetically pleasing. Oh my <gasps> Whoops. <laughs> so, um, 
I just dropped it on the ground, but this it's so aesthetically pleasing. It's just nice and smooth. Yeah, I really think this will help me from like not like hunching over the computer and hurting my back and my neck. It's like slanted at an angle sort of. Can you see that? Yeah, it feels really nice on my fingers too, and I'm just super excited to have a keyboard that works properly. So it comes with a cord too, which is nice because these get worn down a ton. So literally all I had to do was plug it in just using the little cable thing and then it started working. That makes such a satisfying noise. And then once it's like fully charged, then you can use it wirelessly instead of having to actually like plug it in. Yeah, I've been really liking it so far. I think it really will help me with my posture. So then this is my current note taking setup. I have this lap desk just kind of propped up up here. And then I put my computer on top of it. So it's almost like a desktop. And then I just put the keyboard right here. So then I can type in like look at the screen without hunching over. And then I just set the book off to the side. So I'm really enjoying it so far. But now I'm just gonna continue working on this reading and yeah. So now I got ready for class. Honestly, today I have not been focused at all. Like, I just have been... Yesterday, I was doing really well focused. And today, literally, it took me, like probably 45 minutes to read like four pages which is kind of concerning because there are like 37 pages that I have to read just for this class so but you know just one of those days oh well hopefully I'll get some more energy I always do get more energy from filming so hopefully I'll get some more energy focus manifesting it for today but anyway here's my outfit so I just threw my hair up into this hairstyle I really like this hairstyle where you do like a high ponytail and then you pull out these two strands in front this does start hurting my head after a while because my hair is pretty thick like the single strands are fine but there's a lot of strands <laughs> and I just put in these earrings I'm pretty sure my mom gave these to me and I have my princess Polly necklace that I always wear this like turtleneck shirt thing <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I really like this because you can still do the cool layer look, but then you don't get super hot because it's not a long sleeve. And then I just have this cardigan from Urban Outfitters, which I got on sale a couple of years ago, and it was like literally $5, which is kind of fun because nobody else wanted it. <laughs> then I have these corduroy pants from Princess Polly and my shiny Doc Martens. Literally, if you're trying to like focus, put on an outfit because then it makes it feel like you're going out somewhere and you just feel more put together. It's same with putting on shoes. They say I did something bad. Why does it feel so good? That was magnificent. We literally have a 25 minute break and I am so tempted to take a quick power nap because I am just so exhausted right now. But so far this class seems really good. It seems like there's a good balance of work. It seems like there's not going to be too much homework, but like the homework that we do have to do I think will be really helpful for the class and I just... I like looking at paintings. <laughs> like architecture in like pretty much all of Europe is just so cool. Very excited, although I cannot stay awake. <laughs> so now it's about 2.30. It ended like 30 minutes early, which is nice. We literally just talked about castles for a solid- whoops. We literally just talked about castles for a solid like hour, which- yes, I love talking about castles. It just reminds me so much of like all of the fantasy novels that I'm reading. I love reading about like the Middle Ages, even though like they weren't the best times, but and talking about like the king's courts and just how the castles are built and the architecture, everything about it is just so interesting to me. It's like what we're learning about in this class, or at least what we learned about in this lecture, is essentially just the setting for like the Throne of Glass book, which I was reading earlier. But now I just need to continue the textbook reading from earlier because I literally did not get that much done. And I'm just really loving this keyboard still. It was super helpful when I was taking notes in class. This just sounds like the plot of enemies to lovers. Which is a superior trope, by the way. So it's a bit later now, and to be honest, I'm just... I, I don't know what it is today. I've just been so exhausted all day and have like not very much motivation whatsoever and just I feel like I need a solid 14 hours of sleep. I'm just struggling today to really get anything done, but that's okay. You know, we all have those days. So, you know, not every single day is gonna be super productive. So if you needed to hear that, I'm telling you that. 
don't worry about making every single day productive because that's not what's important in life. Your life is not measured based off of how productive you are or not productive you are. Yeah, I literally got like six hours of sleep last night according to my Fitbit thing, so maybe that's why I'm so exhausted. But I think I'm gonna end the video here, literally just gonna go to bed and eat dinner. <laughs> Nothing exciting. Maybe the day didn't go how I exactly wanted it to, but you know what? That is okay. But thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below anything you want to. Subscribe to my channel. Turn that notification bell on. Follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. On like TikTok, I post more like daily vlogs. Obviously, they're shorter, but they're kind of like this style, except shorter, obviously, because TikTok is like 60 seconds maximum. Yeah, thanks again for watching. See you next time. Bye.